up guys, it's me the Brickman2468 here with a Star Wars review and it is a special edition um, this is only my second Star Wars that I've reviewed that's kinda sad but you know I'll be reviewing more, I have quite a few it's 8 to 14, number 7869 Battle for Geonosis and it has 331 pieces this set costs $50 at Toys R Us, which is where I got it, but I got it on sale for $35, $40 on Lego.com. And you get, oh, there's a box back, five figures, little action shot, figures are down here, and up there. And the back shows this big action shot right here. It. Some of its functions right there, and some other sets. Instruction manual does not have much either. Screaming kid. Ugh. This is like a club. These other sets here. No, look at those. figures. Yep. Let's go over the set. Five figures. First one is Luminara Undui. Exclusive figure. Has her lightsaber. The chrome hilt. Lime green. She has nice torso printing and leg printing. And then her face is it's a different color than normal skin. It's like a peachy kind of color, I think. Purple lipstick. She's pretty scary. Strange, I should say. And then that weird hat, too. I don't know about her. Strange, that's all I have to say. And there's Captain Rex. Very cool figure. It's uncommon, but you can get them in a few other sets. It's visor, it's helmet, that thing there. Little cauldron around his neck, and then something down there. Something. Two guns. Sorry for the background noise. Um, my dad is vacuuming. But here's his face. Take that off and show you his torso and back printing. He's a good figure. And along with him, he comes with his. Oops, his head is rolling away. Don't die. Two of these each. Um, a flashlight and rangefinder. I think that's what they are. Accessories. Then you get the super battle droid, the gun arm. Cool. Then you get a battle droid, a blaster pistol, simple battle droid, and you get two. You get the bark speeder. No, it's not a dog. Um, here it's got the little flaps on the front. It's got those little thingies on the back, I don't know what they are. Same as the one in the battle pack, but it has the red instead of green. And then the controls there, the seat the sit down. And control it. And then the harpoons on the back. And the main part of the set itself, the big cannon. Pretty cool. It's a humongous head. And the eyes with the cannon that can Posable legs, you know, little seat there with a little control pad to man it, and then there's a gear in the front, that's what you can do, 
sorry. Let's do this. Move it and its head moves forward and back. Yep. And also, it has a cannon to kill somebody with if you wanted to. You can put her there. And then you push this red button down and we'll kill her. There. Hopefully you saw that. If you didn't rewind it. It's pretty powerful. It's spring loaded in that one piece. And yeah, that's about it. This is a cool set. I I I, I do like it. I suggest you go out and get it, not for fifty dollars, but forty dollars. Yes, you should get it. The cool figures. It's not the greatest for army building if you're an army builder for Star Wars, but you know, it's does have some nice figures. And I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten because of everything I named. Not tons of play value, but well there might be. I don't know. Whatever you wanna call it and that's about it. So I will see you guys later. Rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later.